Hi, I'm Jacqueline Patron. Um, I'm here in Jamaica, Montego Bay, and um, I just want to talk about Hope Hospice. It's one of the places I've visited here in Jamaica, and um, it's just impacted me so much. Um, you know, I think sometimes when we uh, we think we're going somewhere, we kind of have an idea of how something's going to work, but um, going there kind of just blew my mind. And, um, you know, I never expected to be ministered to. I expected to go and um, pray and just kind of want God to use me, but in being there, I feel like I truly, truly met some friends. Now, a friend is you give, but they also give back. And um, just being with Grandma and Gertrude and, you know, just having one of them put their hand on me and say, darling or honey, that's not something that I took lightly because I knew that it was from their heart. And me going there and talking with them, um, just seeing them in their situations, being sick and um, they can't get out but they still have this joy that makes you want to run there, that makes you want to go there, makes you want to stay there and just kind of be in just some place where it's pure and it's you know that the Spirit of God is there because no one's trying to get anything except love. This is Friends Forever TV. I got my Cubs hat. I got my Philadelphia Phillies hat. Hello. Westchester, Pennsylvania. I'm Mark Muirhead, and when I was a little boy, I would spend time at my grandma and grandpa's house in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and we would watch WGN coming in from Channel 9, and so I grew up watching Cubs games, so I love all the teams, and I even love, well, come on, here we go, Philadelphia Phillies, and look at that Jamaica-style hat there with the official Major League logo. Wow, someone had a dream, a great dream, to make a connection between Major League Baseball and the Caribbean. And with the approval of the Commissioner of Baseball, produce wonderful, wonderful Caribbean-style gear. I love this shirt. Check this out. Is that cool? Is that awesome or what, huh? I mean, all the teams, what a, what a, what a connection. And you know, during this time that the Master's Commission from Westchester, Pennsylvania has been on site here in Greater Montego Bay, why, they're making connections too. Well, imagine these students from Master's Commission making connection with young boys and girls and friends in a nation beyond their own, in a city beyond their own. Take a listen to some of your Master's Commission crew about this one great reality. Who impacted you? Hey, Lance Vestine here, coming to you from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Uh, I'm from Westchester, Pennsylvania. It's been a privilege this week to be a part of what takes place here in Montego Bay. And this morning, probably had one of the greatest experiences of my life. I've been to several schools, several Christian schools, or private schools to be a part of a chapel service or something like that. And this morning I went to CCCD, uh, and I don't know that I've ever seen a more powerful chapel service. To watch as these kids worshiped God, no instruments, nothing else but their voices and their sign language, literally floored me. And to see their faces and how excited they were to sing the songs and to, to worship was just something that I don't think I've ever experienced a more pure worship service, if you could say that. And then there was one young man, and I don't know his name, and I wish I did, but he prayed probably one of the most sincere, heartfelt, life-changing prayers I've ever heard as his teacher in the background interpreted for us so that we could hear what he was saying. And I sat there literally as tears began to well up in my eyes. as just this young man, probably 12, 13, maybe 14 years old, prayed for us some Americans that came to visit him. And I know I will never forget that moment as they sat there and I listened to that young man pray for me. And uh, it was such a blessing to see those kids there over at CCCD and to be a part of their world for a little bit of time here in Montego Bay. Friends Forever TV and you've heard it. Who impacted you? 
a great question to ask the Master's Commission crew members, be able to hear them share it, be able to see it. Take a look at some of their activities here in the greater Montego Bay area. These are pictures of impact on your Friends Forever TV. The It's important to make a positive difference, and I thank the Lord for the prayer investment, the financial investment that Trinity Assembly of God in Westchester, Pennsylvania, under the leadership of Pastor Dan and Donna Clark, and then our wonderful Master's Commission leader, Student Ministries leader, Pastor Lance Vistine, has made to see this crew of young men and women come to Montego Bay, Jamaica, and go into outlying areas to see our Father's world. This is my Father's world, and how big it is, how different it is, it only shows us how much love God has for the entire world. You've heard their voice, you've seen the pictures of people that impacted them. Who impacted you? Well, we want to be a person of impact, but we also have people that impact us. I've always said, one world, one nation, one town, one person at a time. That's how you do ministry. That's how you make lifelong connections. But I want you to pray for the Master's Commission team that they would make lifelong commitments to take the picture you've seen, put it in their Bible, and pray every day for the rest of their life for young men and women that live in this wonderful and precious country, that they would pray and their heart would never grow cold and they'd never be far in their mind or the spirit from the experience that you've witnessed here as we've shared with you these broadcast updates of the unfolding travels and the ministry and the connections that are taking place. I believe if they can hold on and pray for one person the rest of their life, they'll never be the same. And then, therefore, it would be said, they didn't take a trip. They just lived the life. And no matter where they go, these Master's Commission members, no matter where they go the rest of their life, their journey will be about meeting people, making connections, having friends all over the world as Jesus Christ leads us. I often say on the airwaves, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, God loves you, and so do I. But also it's clear from this segment on Friends Forever TV, God loves children of the schools, of the child care centers, patients of the hospice. God loves them, but so does the Master's Commission of Westchester, Pennsylvania. Together with all these friends, we see Jesus Christ shining. We see Jesus Christ pulling us together, sharing love one with another, and through pictures and videos to always remember that we need the Lord, we need each other. Jesus Christ is our friend forever. Hey, I'm Mark Milliman from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Um, Hope Hospice in Montego Bay impacts me because no matter what they're going through, no matter what their days bring, they still love God, love life, and uh, treat others with love. Um, Grandma, I love you and your attitude is amazing.